The custom page zoom extension allows you to easily set a custom level for each website or all websites. It's a simple to use extension that allows you to set the zoom level and tether percentage and the placement on the screen in terms of the X and Y axes. So to go through this extension, let's first add it to our browser. After we've added this extension to our browser, we can then pin it inside the toolbar. To do this, we simply click in the top right hand corner on the jigsaw icon. We can then click on the pin icon we see here next to the extension name. Now you'll see in the top right hand corner the icon for the extension which is a small magnifying glass currently in orange. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we'll start by going to let's say Wikipedia. So to start using this extension we simply click on the icon and a small pop-up comes out. And here we can see the different options involved. At the top we have the ability to turn it on and the ability to turn it off. So the coloured version in orange means on and the grayscale version is off. And underneath this we can see a short strip or line that highlights which one is currently on. So now it's off, now it's on. And the icon inside the browser toolbar handily changes colour as well. So when it's on, we see it's orange. When it's off, we see it as grayscale. So, as you can see here, it's automatically taken the website we're currently on and added it into the box. So now we have the ability here to set our different zoom levels. So for example, we can zoom in to 150%. And then we can say, actually, we want to be more centered in the page because we want to see the Wikipedia center screen here. And now we have that. To add this, we simply select the plus icon. And now this has been saved in our list as the number one. Now, if we refresh the page, we can see the sticks at our zoom level. But if we go to a different website, such as google.com, we can see the zoom level has returned to normal or to default. At the top of this page again, we can, for example, zoom out. We can then go ahead and save this. And as you'll see when we refresh the page, it has indeed zoomed out. And from this list, we can see the two domain names that we currently have with their zoom level, the X axis placement and the Y axis placement. We can then go ahead and remove these as well with the X option or the cross, returning the page back to normal. As well as setting rules for specific websites, we can also set rules for all websites. And to do this, we simply use the asterisk, and then we set the options. Now we go ahead, we can see that this has overridden the Wikipedia option, as it's a rule that impacts all websites via the asterisk option we see here. And this extension really is as simple to use as that. We can then turn it off, and on, back and forth, with the handy refresh option inside the actual extension itself. If you want to go ahead and use this extension inside the incognito mode of your browser, you simply right click, select manage extensions, and then inside of here, where you can see the allow in incognito, you simply select that option on. And now we can use this in both the standard version of our browser and the incognito mode.